Hey guys, as you can see, um, just got my order through, uh, literally just a minute ago, um, which is the uh, Antec Cooler H20920. Um, kind of doing this one-handed, so I'm uh, just going to take the film off and uh, unbox it and uh, take out the items and show you what's inside. So I'll be back with you in just a sec. Okay, so uh, as you can see, I just took out the box. And we have Polar's Diary in top. And we have uh, an installation guide. CD for the chill control um, to adjust the fan speeds and the LED light. Um, a little, I'm not sure quite what this is. Um, Oh, please reboot your PC once you have finished installing the hardware and software for the cooler H20920 to ensure proper operation. Um, and so, as we can see here, we've got one fan and another fan in the sleeve. And we have all the fittings, um, which I will be showing you how to install this because I've looked on YouTube and there are no actual installation videos. Um, so I'll either install it and then tell you how I installed it or you know just maybe I'll show you the process if I've got time so yeah that's the, that's the fittings and the actual uh, if I just pull this out okay should have thought about this before I did this pull this end out first one sec I'm just going to put the uh, camera down just for a sec Okay, sorry about that. Um, so as you can see, um, we've got the uh, the rad and the uh, pipes, which are very flexible. And uh, we have the end here with the uh, pre-applied thermal. Just take that cover off, as you can see there. Um, so yeah, and we've got the little LED light there. Um, we've also got three cables coming out of this, I believe. One is for the... Uh, sorry, wait. These are... I may have to read the installation, but I know one of these goes into a USB port, which uh, powers everything. And obviously we've got another two for the fans, um, for the fan connections, but... Yeah. Um, so, yes, thanks for watching. Uh, but I shall now edit this video so that I'm going to install it and show you how to do that and shiz. So, see you then. Hey guys, um, sorry I didn't show you the installation video. It was a complete pain in the ass, and it would have taken far too much of your time. Um, but I will just give you a brief um, overview of uh, sort of, you know, what it looks like and how I did do it. So, as you can see... There it is installed, um, and it was a bugger to install. I'm not gonna lie; it wasn't an easy process. It was a really fiddly ass job. Um, what I first had to do, um, on my case, which is the uh, half X922, I had to remove that top fan. I then also had to remove my other fan that I had here because I wanted to use the. Um, higher rate per minute um, fans. Um, I also had to take off all, well I had to take out everything that was connected to the motherboard um, because where I had my old heat sink um, the backing plate wouldn't come off unless you took off the motherboard and so I had to take out the motherboard then put on the backing plate then put the motherboard back in so that it wouldn't move about because there wasn't enough room in the back of this case which uh, may be the case <laughs> which may um, be the same situation um, that you guys have in your cases unless it has a large back panel which um, has a big cut out for the motherboard but anyways I had to do that um, other than that um, trying to remember what other problems I had um, 
Oh yeah, when I when I first turned it on, it was making the worst sound in the world. It was going, and I thought that it was fucked. And then I literally just left it running for like three, no, I so I left it running for about three or four minutes, and then all of a sudden it went completely silent, and uh, it's never done it since. And I think it was making that noise because it's the first time you know that the, the pump's been running or whatever. But yeah, it's not made any of that noise whatsoever since um, now at the moment this is on sort of a performance mode because I've set it to ramp up the uh, set the um, rates per minute at the moment but this is what it sounds like So, as you can see, um, it's really not that bad at all. Um, it's actually quieter than my other fan. Um, also, my temps are ridiculously good now. Whereas before, they kept, like, when I was overclocking, they wouldn't stay, you know, below a certain temperature. But now, if I just show you on the screen. So, 37 is my my G uh yeah GPU and the four green ones are my um the cores of the system. So yeah, um didn't really have any other problems although I must say to you now um when you install the the actual plate this bit that you put on make sure that when you're putting the first oh, let me just show you these bits on which is a a different like the bit that goes on first, like the plate. Um, make sure you put it on very loosely because I did it up tight first because I thought I could just put in the uh, put on this and then just you know sort of turn it. But um, you have to put it on really loosely because then you have to like lift lift this away from the motherboard, put this in, turn it so that it's grabbing on these like you got each indent here. And then you can screw them in tightly, so you have to sort of hold that whilst you're screwing one, and then once you've got a bit of a bite, then you can do the rest. Um, so yeah, but uh, apart from that, everything's working absolutely fine, and um, yeah, thanks for watching. If you've got any comments or um, you know any queries, just let me know, and thanks for watching.